G'day, I'm off on a hunt, so I need one of these. And to get one of these, I need a firearms license. You're about to watch a short video that illustrates the points you'll find in the arms code. Effective and active safety instruction is vital for everyone involved with firearms. Maintaining rigorous procedures around firearm security is also essential. Owners must take reasonable steps to secure their firearms against theft and easy access by others, especially children. Watch this video carefully. Together with the arms code, it deals with the practicalities surrounding the safe usage of firearms. It also contains all the information you'll need to get a firearms license. Commit to memory the seven basic rules. They might just save your life or someone else's. This young woman, Amber, has just received her firearms license. Anything to do with a firearm begins with obtaining a firearms license. It also means studying the arms code, attending training, and passing a test. Amber is keen on shooting. She's probably spent some time thinking about game animals and range shooting. Buying the right firearm to match her interest will be critical. Having obtained her firearms license, she's looking for the rifle which best suits her. No single firearm will suit all purposes, and it's important to know the basic differences between them. One of the simplest and most trouble-free firearm actions is the bolt action. The action is opened by lifting the bolt handle and pulling it back. A cartridge is fed into the chamber by pushing the bolt forward and the bolt handle turned down, closing the bolt and locking the cartridge in place. When the trigger is pulled, the firing pin is released sending the projectile on its way. The cartridge case is then ejected by once more opening the action. The lever action works on the same basic principle, except that a lever is pushed down to open the breech. This movement also cocks the action. By pulling up the lever, a cartridge is fed into the chamber, ready to be fired by the trigger. The empty case is ejected by once more pushing the lever down. Note that it's possible for any firearm with a tubular magazine for a cartridge to get stuck. This can convey the mistaken impression that the firearm is empty, but it is still possible for a live round to remain in the magazine. Most air rifles are cocked by pulling down on the barrel, loading a pellet, closing the barrel, and then by pulling the trigger releasing the projectile by means of gas or compressed air and not by force of explosive. A semi-automatic operates in the same way as the others, except that ejection and loading are carried out automatically by the force of either the recoil or by gas pressure with each pull of the trigger. A pump action is again similar. A pump slide is pulled backwards to open the action and cock it. When the slide is pushed forward, the action feeds a fresh cartridge, locks and is ready to fire. No one can be sold or supplied with a firearm or ammunition without a firearms license. With all firearms activities, there are good reasons to support becoming involved with a club. It will be to your advantage to belong to a club which caters to your particular interest. Not only will you make contact with experienced enthusiasts, but you'll gain useful information on firearms and ammunition, as well as learn safe firearm use. Most people find that their interest is enhanced and not diminished by association with like-minded people. The police arms officer, the Mountain Safety Council or local firearms dealer can point you to a club in your area. On the range, all the tips and information you need are on tap and it's here you can learn the basics right through to advanced shooting techniques. With all shooting, you have to be able to clearly identify your target and shoot with accuracy. Every range has a set of range shooting rules. These rules govern the safe use of the range and the safety of the shooters. Shooter start. 
It's essential to wear eye and ear protection when shooting on ranges, and it's a good idea when shooting elsewhere, if possible. At a range, you'll get to know your own firearm properly, learn how it works and how to look after it. Everything and everybody is under the control of the range safety officer. When shooting ceases, the range officer will check that each firearm is unloaded. On a number of ranges, a chamber safety device is put into the chamber so that the range safety officer can see that each firearm has been made safe. Time spent on the range will pay off in the field and knowing how you shoot will be invaluable on the hunt. To prevent unwanted firearm incidents, you must store your firearms securely and know how to use them safely. Always point firearms in a safe direction, whether they are loaded or not. A safe direction will depend on where you are. Bullets can go through floors or ceilings. Never point a firearm at anyone, including yourself. It's safe only when the action is open and the chamber is empty. Store firearms and ammunition separately, or make sure the firearm cannot be fired. Before heading off, clean out the barrel of the rifle. It was probably cleaned after it was last used and oiled, so before using it again, clean out the oil. Always be sure you have the right ammunition for your rifle. Put bolts and ammunition in your pack and carry the firearm in a case or cover. This will protect your firearm and prolong its safe working life. At certain times of the day, you often see animals from the car. Don't give way to the temptation to shoot them. It is extremely unsafe to have a loaded firearm in a vehicle. Care is needed when removing a firearm from a vehicle. Treat every firearm as loaded. Carry the firearm in a case or cover. Whenever you transport a firearm, you should have the bolt out and the firearm, including the magazine, must be unloaded. Never lean a firearm against anything. It's safer to lay it down. Having assembled the firearm, Amber again checks that it is unloaded. You cannot be too careful. Pass or accept only an unloaded firearm. It pays to check that each other's firearms are empty and that nothing is in the chamber. You should know the state of each other's firearm. Flying into hunting areas is common. Special care is required when travelling by aircraft. Just by checking your firearms, make sure they're all safe for the flight in. Cool. The firearm must be unloaded, the bolt must be out of the firearm, and the magazine must be empty. Carry the firearm in a soft cover. This will protect it from being scratched or damaged during handling. We'll load up your gear, shall we? Stowage and safety are doubly important. The operator will give you directions. When approaching a camp or hut, you must remove the ammunition from your firearm. If staying in a hut or camp, take the bolt out and put it in your pocket or pack, just as you would at home. This reassures others that the firearm is safe and always point firearms in a safe direction.
Safe practice when hunting is paramount. Reinsert the bolt into the action only as you set off for your hunt. When you reach your hunting area, you can load the magazine. When hunting with others, only the shooter at the front of a hunting party should be in a state of semi-readiness. Movement, colour, sound and shape can all deceive you. Assume anything you hear or see to be human until you confirm otherwise. If you spot game, you can half chamber a round. Put a round in the chamber only when you are ready to fire. Once you've lost your chance of a shot, unload the chamber. Put the round back in the magazine. Never rely on the safety catch, it can let you down. Slips and falls happen to everyone in the bush. If you slip, remember to control where the muzzle is pointing and then check that the barrel is free from debris and is not blocked. Some users prefer to unload when crossing a river. When crossing rivers and streams, maintain balance and don't try to hop from rock to rock. It's best to walk steadily through the water. You get wet feet, but you are less likely to slip. Use your buddy as support if necessary. Before firing, check your firing zone. Think about what you might hit between you and your target and beyond your target. Your firing zone changes rapidly when you follow a moving target. Be aware of ricochets from snow, rocks or water. Night shooting requires the utmost care, especially when using a spotlight, as your field of view is restricted. A charge of shot from a shotgun has a wide spread, particularly at longer ranges. It is unsafe to shoot at a target on the skyline. Consider what may be beyond. Ask yourself, what could happen if I miss my target? A shotgun is usually of the break-open variety and is carried open for safety reasons. At a fence, never try to get over or through it with a firearm. Unload and then pass the firearm through first. If you're with another person, one can hold the firearm while the other climbs over. When doing so, unload the rifle and remove the magazine. When handing it to your buddy, ensure that he or she can see that the action is open and the chamber is empty. Alcohol and drugs must never be taken before you go shooting or while you are shooting. Alcohol, drugs and firearms don't mix. Conscientious shooters will unpack, stow their gear away and clean their firearms prior to storage and before socialising. Remember, you can relax only when your firearms are locked securely away. Firearms are safe if handled properly and with respect. Memorise the seven basic rules. Rule one, treat every firearm as loaded. 
pass or accept only an open, unloaded firearm. Ask the person to show that it's open and empty. Rule 2. Always point firearms in a safe direction. Loaded or unloaded, never point a firearm at any person, including yourself. Rule 3. Load a firearm only when ready to fire. Load the magazine only after you reach your shooting area. Load the chamber only when ready to shoot. Completely unload when leaving the shooting area. Rule 4. Identify your target beyond all doubt. Movement, colour, sound or shape can all deceive you. Never fire until you are absolutely certain. Rule 5. Check your firing zone. Think what may happen if you miss your target. What might you hit between you and the target or beyond? Beware of surfaces that cause ricochets. Rule 6. Store firearms and ammunition safely. Lock the firearm away separately from the ammunition. Rule 7. Avoid alcohol and drugs when handling firearms. Refuse to shoot with anyone who's been drinking. Well, I'm off on my hunt. Safe shooting.